Welcome to Find the Perfect Place, your new destination for amazing home tours. I'm your host Zisha and behind the camera is Bronson. Hey guys. Today we are here in a beautiful Somerset, Queensland at the Castle Retreat. Only five minutes from the Brisbane Rail Trail and we are ever so lucky to be staying in this glorious tiny house. Not only do you get to experience tiny living, but you also get to experience an eco farm stay with numerous animals greeting you on arrival. Honestly, there is so much to show you. And did we mention? This tiny house is on castle land. You cannot get much more unique than this. We cannot wait to show you around today's perfect place. Come on in. This space is an entertainer's delight. This is perfect for hosting dinner parties and spending time with loved ones. There's plenty of seating for everyone, whether it be at the breakfast bar, the dining table, or relaxing in the reclined chair. This is the perfect place to make memories. And you can cook up a huge feast on the deluxe barbecue they have right at the end of the balcony. How glorious is this, Bronson? I'm feeling hungry just standing here. Yes. Are we gonna have a barbecue tonight? <laughs> well, we've already got some cheese and crackers laid out on the table, which we'll be able to enjoy right after this. Now, this outdoor space leads us right on through to the tiny home living room. When you first step into this tiny house, this is when you get an idea of just how grand the space is. This is a 40 foot container conversion and the hosts actually converted this all themselves. So much love, passion and hard work has gone into this build and it really does show. We've had the chance to hear some stories about individual items within the home and they all add such amazing character to the space. Now right behind me here is the lounge and as you can see it is drop dead gorgeous. It is so homely feeling and welcoming. They have absolutely aced the entire feel of this day. And one of our favorite features of this space is the record player right in the corner. Bronson and I had a lovely time this morning, enjoying our coffee, watching the view, and you've got the tunes right next to you to go with it as well. It's a great space to relax, unwind, retreat away into the country. Now, truth be told, the one thing that a tiny home must have is rooms that function as multiple spaces. So not only is this a lounge behind me, but it also converts into a sofa bed. So this tiny house actually comfortably sleeps a family of four. But if your party happens to be bigger than a family of four, we have got a surprise for you later on. So stay tuned. Bronson will show you something very, very, very cool shortly. Now this leads us on into the kitchen and I must say, this is the biggest kitchen or one of the biggest kitchens we've actually seen. You do not feel like you're in a tiny home when you're in this space. I am so surprised about how glamorous this kitchen actually is. This is a chef's delight. There is full size, sorry, I've just been distracted by a swan that's just running past our window. That is the true feel of this whole entire stay. You literally are in a farm stay. Not only do you get this glorious face, you immerse in so many animals. You get to actually feed the animals, pet the animals. We have some fantastic footage of that as well. We'll show you guys because seriously, this stay is just so spectacular. Good girl. Oh, good boy. You gonna bite it? There you go. There you go. Nice job. Nice job. Honestly, we've had the best time, haven't we? Yeah, we wish we could stay even longer. <laughs> we really do. We have had the luxury of being able to stay last night as well as tonight, and we are ever so grateful to just soak everything up because seriously, this has been 
the best experience that we could wish for. Coming from, you know, fast paced city environment, retreating out to somewhere like this. Oh my goodness, it is just the best. But yeah, the swan caught me off guard. I was thinking, what's, what's happening? But the swans have little babies as well, which is too cute. Back to this kitchen. As you can see, you've got a full-size induction stovetop as well as oven. There's a fridge right behind me, once again full-size, and they've not let us down. This is a secret full-size dishwasher as well. So this day, although tiny, you do not need to go without any of the modern comforts. It's all right here at your fingertips and the hosts have done a beautiful job of kitting it out with all of the cutlery and cookery you would need to prepare a feast of your own. And gosh, don't you just love this breakfast bar. You've got the seating on this side. This would double as an office space as well. Looking out to this glorious view, I mean, could it get any better? Definitely not. Now you do have a coffee machine as well as jug provided. They also have filtered drinking water if you prefer, which is also really, really kind of them. And you will never believe it. Also a fully equipped herb garden, as well as in the making a vegetable patch. So the goal of this day is when you do show up here, you're gonna be able to go to the veggie garden, pick all of your veggies and cook up a fantastic fresh, as fresh as you can get, meal. We are in absolute awe of how amazing this space is. So much love, passion and care has gone into creating such a wonderful, not only Airbnb stay, but also a wonderful experience. Honestly, I hope it can translate through the camera because we have just had the best time staying here. But that leads us on in to a second multi-purpose room. So welcome to the bathroom as well as your laundry. Now this bathroom is huge. Everything that you need is provided in this bathroom. We've got a full-size shower. You've got the dual shower head, so you have every luxury you could ever imagine. You've got the rainfall shower head as well as the removable shower head. To the side of me here is a full-size washer and dryer. This gorgeous vanity and I absolutely love this bowing effect in this wood. That is truly bringing the outdoors in. It really, really just immerses you in nature and it helps you just sit back and relax even more so. And it actually creates a really good optical illusion to make the space feel even bigger as well. So this is a fully functioning, livable space. This is absolutely incredible. Now, one feature that we briefly mentioned at the beginning of this video is this is also an eco stay. There are solar panels that are on property, adding to the grid, which is fantastic. And in a bid to save water, there is a composting toilet within this tiny home. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Ugh, a composting toilet? How do I use that? They've got you covered. You don't need to worry. You've got the instructions on hand. And if you read through the instructions and think to yourself, oh, you know what? This just isn't for me. There's a fully functioning flushable toilet on property as well. And you can just go for a very short stroll. They've even covered your bases there. But I must say, from experience, first time using a composting toilet, it's super easy. You don't even need to worry. And I think Bronson has a similar opinion. Yeah, I've mastered the compost toilet. You use it once and you're good to go. Yeah. So don't stress. This is our, both of our first time ever using the compost toilet and we're champions of two it. Two thumbs up. Yeah, two thumbs up. <laughs> if we had if we had four thumbs, which we do, both of us, that's four thumbs. Four thumbs, exactly. <laughs> and then your thumbs will be added seriously. Before we know it, we'll all be composting toilet users. <laughs> now the bid of this composting toilet is to actually save water by having a composting toilet installed in this Airbnb or this tiny home, I should say, you're actually saving 24,000 liters of water a year. Wow. And that is a lot of water. That's a lot of water. <laughs> that is a lot, a lot of water. Yeah. And that just like makes you feel so good when you're staying here as well because you know you're doing good for the environment and that just adds to the buzz of the whole atmosphere and just escaping the fast, busy paced lifestyle that so many of us live. It's just like a gold star. 
You feel good. <laughs> <laughs> I feel good too. <laughs> the whole entire bathroom is just glorious. I love it and I could live here myself. Now moving on through to the bedroom, there is a super special surprise in this room as well. Come on in, take a look. Of course, the decor itself is absolutely gorgeous. So welcoming and warm. It's a great space to sit back and relax. Gorgeous detail on the wall and I can guarantee you each and every one of these pieces has a story behind it and that is a great thing about this place is it has so much character. Now let me get the very special surprise that I have for you. Excuse me as I just bend down and pick up this control. Now this control in my hand actually makes the bed rise. And there are so many different settings on this remote. Bronson and I had so much fun testing this out last night. This is perfect for relaxing in bed and enjoying a good book and the mattress to die for. Honestly, such a comfortable night's day and this just adds to the excitement. It's a nice little treat with inside this tiny home that you really wouldn't expect whatsoever. Now the tiny house itself is only just the beginning of this day. Honestly, the great outdoors are the true highlight. As we mentioned at the beginning, this is actually a farm today. There are so many animals on property that we've had the joy of meeting and feeding and patting. It has been a wonderful experience. And there's a few other hidden gems that we would like to show you as well. Come with us. Oh, and as we head outside, there is one thing I forgot to mention. As we all know, Queensland gets hot, hot, hot. Now, in this area, there is numerous swimming holes you can go to to take a dip and cool down, but the hosts have not left you stranded because they have got two air conditioning units. You've got the main one in the lounge area as well as one in your bedroom. So you can rest assured you're going to get a good night's sleep because everything is kept so super cool within the tiny space and it is super quick to cool down as well because it is so super tiny. All right, so you saw how spectacular the inside is with Zisha's leg of the tour. Now I'm going to show you the great outdoors. Now, the thing about this, as soon as you step out here, you're in the wilderness. We're surrounded by trees, we're surrounded by animals of all types. And then right behind Zesha here, we have this glorious, humongous fire pit surrounded by three seats. Now, a really special thing about these three seats is just like a, this whole tiny home, the owners slash hosts actually built these and these are actually made out of bed heads can you believe it they're upcycled <laughs> yeah fantastic like, they majorly add to the character they create such a wonderful fire pit it's incredible yeah i would have thought these were just brought from a shop that's how talented these people are and over here we have this glorious huge thing of jenga which we haven't had a chance to do which we must do tonight i think what do you reckon zisha i agree yeah and uh obviously more marshmallows <laughs> absolutely last night was a delight to be roasting marshmallows around the fire and then just over there we've got a really comfortable hammock which both zisha and i have had this joy of actually sitting on for a while anyway yeah i've done a lot of work in that hammock today yeah. <laughs> it's been so peaceful and relaxing working up a storm there's this awesome little rocking horse over there as well and apparently adults can go in there as well believe it or not so if you like a rocking horse it's not just for the kids <laughs> now guys right behind me here is the extra space that zisha mentioned when we're inside the tiny house this caravan sleeps four more people. So in total, when you book that, you also get the opportunity to book this if you need a couple more beds. So you can actually sleep up to eight people in total. Let's check it out. Now I know this is actually classified as a caravan, but Zesha and I just decided we're gonna call it a wee tiny. Beautiful. I have the perfect word to describe it. What is it? Cutesy. Cutesy. It is the such a cutesy space. We've just named this place the Cutesy Wee Tiny. <laughs> Official name, we'll let the host know. <laughs> we'll get some signs made and everything. <laughs> so this sleeps four people, as I said before, so it's gorgeous. Look at this nice kitchen over here. There's actually a 
pink toaster. Zisha is obsessed with the color pink, and I, I've seen you iron that up already, babe. <laughs> We're not getting it. <laughs> She'll probably get her way. <laughs> she always does. She Check it down in the stores, buy one of our own. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> and you've got your little mini fridge, microwave, and I like the white on white with the cabinets and this glorious little kitchenette you see here but do remember guys this is a group booking and a group stay once you get this expansion over here you still have access to all the facilities of the ground and what's in the main tiny home stay We want to extend a huge thank you to the hosts as they've been so accommodating this entire stay. You can really tell the amount of love, tender, care and passion that's gone into every single aspect of this experience here at the Castle Retreat. We also want to thank you guys for watching today's episode and we look forward to seeing you in our next Perfect Place.